Good day fellow teachers, I'm Sir Oliver and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Since a lot of you are requesting me to make a walkthrough and review on self-learning module in Mathematics 10. So this is for uh, for all math teachers out there. So ginawa ko ang video na to para ipakita sa inyo or i-share kung ano ba ang nilalaman ng isang uh, self-learning module in Mathematics 10 because it is very important in the preparation of weekly home learning plan na magiging guide ng ating mga parents or guardians para i-guide yung kanilang mga anak sa darating na teaching and learning activities. And again, uh, kailangan po natin maghintay ng prescribed module na ibababa ng uh, bawat division kasi ito po yung gagamitin ng ating mga students sa respective divisions and schools. Pero according nga kay Yusek uh, Justado San Antonio, hindi mo naman daw kailangan maghintay sa modules. Kung kailangan mo na talaga, kung ikaw naman ay marunong at may kakayahang gumawa, pwede ka naman gumawa ng sarili mo. So yun nga lang, iba pa rin yung uh, ibababa ng division kasi yun ay quality module talaga. Okay, so ang module na to ay melt base. So alam naman natin ang melt base, most essential learning competency wherein ito yung naging basihan sa bawat modules or lessons na naka-include sa kada quarter. So wherein uh, ang pinagbasihan dito yung pivot for a budget of work. Pinili lamang yung mga most essential out of dun sa curriculum, sorry, out of dun sa a competency na ginagamit natin sa curriculum guide ng DepEd. And then, ito din ay ADM or alter Alternative uh, Delivery Mode. Again, yung gagawin ko dito ay i-review ko kung ano yung mga content na nilagay. And then, I'm not saying na mali yun. I mean, gusto ko lang magbigay ng opinion ko regarding doon sa makikita ko sa module kasi hindi naman din po ako uh, expert. By the way, disclaimer muna tayo, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1967, allowance is made for fair use for purpose such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Again, no copyright in principle, uh, infringement intended. Credits to the rightful owner of the content used in this video. Again, this is for educational purposes only para magkaroon ng idea yung ating mga math 10 teachers sa kanilang gagawin na mga plano or reports na gagamitin for the whole first quarter. At ang gagamitin yung example dito ay yung uh, module 1 ng math 10. So actually, uh, iba't ibang module yon na kinompile into one modules. Again, gusto ko magpasalamat sa development and management team of this module na ginamit ko sa video na ito. Yeah, maraming salamat po. And then I would like to share lang na among the junior high school math, uh, ito talaga yung pinaka-favorite ko, Math 10. So, ang focus natin ngayon is the cover page, the development and management team, the table of contents. So, titignan natin kung na-utilize ba dito yung idea process. So, paano yung ginawa sa content? Kung uh, na-incorporate ba dito yung idea process na related doon sa ating exemplar na gagawin as our guideline in the modular distance learning since ito yung uh, preferred uh, modalities ng most school printed modules and then content and what type of assessment yung binigay dito aside from dun sa assessment tool na gagawin natin as a teacher and facilitator and then itong self-learning modules in mathematics 10 so there are 10 identified milks for the first quarter again ang naging basis sa mga lessons and modules ay yung out of dun sa most essential learning competencies at itong ginamit ko there are 17 modules compiled into one so pag sinabi natin module it pertains to lesson example module 1 generating patterns so bakit siya naging 17 modules because there are milks na masyadong mahaba just like the generating patterns at yung mga sequences and series na module 1 and module 2 
ito yung about series and sequences. So, medyo mahaba kaya pinagdalawa nila yung module pero yun ay magkarugtong. Okay, so let's start our walkthrough in SLM in Mathematics 10. Again, this is only my personal uh, views and opinion regarding the module but talagang I give respect uh, to those person behind the development and creation of this module. So, nakasulat sa taas ay government property, therefore it is not for sale. So, dapat alam din natin yung, or nabasa natin yung uh, copyright page or familiar tayo doon sa copyright claim. Again, this for educational purposes only. Again, this for uh, Mathematics 10, Quarter 1, Module 1, entitled Generating Patterns. And I really appreciate the, illustra uh, the illustration being used in this module. Kung mapapansin nyo ay colorful and then ang shape na ginamit ay hexagon na nakabuo din ng uh, formation of flowers kasi most of the given uh, yung picture are flowers because I think ito ay kinonek sa nature. We all know that uh, one of the importance of uh, uh, generating patterns ay matatagpuan sa uh, nature and patterns are everywhere. At ito yung mga examples niya, uh, probably yung mga patterns sa flowers, sa leaves, so yon. And then nakikita din natin dito yung logo ng ADM or the Alternative Delivery Mode. Ayan, ito yung second page natin, yung copyright page, uh, Republic Act 8, uh, 8293, Section 176 states that no copyright shall subsist in any work of the government of the Philippines. Ayan. And then, ito yung development team of the module. Ito yung binubuo ng mga experts, authors, reviewers, illustrator, and layout artists. Sila yung mga respected person because we all know how uh, how hard it is. Talagang you need to exert uh, so much effort para makagawa ng isang uh, quality module. Again, this is the first edition of module na gagamitin ngayong school year 2020 to 2021. Ayan. And then... This from the Department of Education, Division of uh, Bukidnon. So, thank you so much, uh, Division of Bukidnon. And then, this instructional materials was collaboratively developed and reviewed by educators from public and private schools, colleges, and or universities. Again, so talagang to ay collaborative er uh, effort ng iba't ibang stakeholders na bumubuo sa uh, institution. Ayan, and then you have here the title page, and then you have here the table of contents. So, nakalagay dito sa table of contents, sa Roman number 1, what is this module all about? At kagandahan dito, merong mga note to the teacher facilitator at tayo yun, note to the parent or guardian bilang ating makakatulong sa ating homeschooling or modular distance learning and then meron ding notes sa mga learners wherein sila yung gagamit ng mga modules and then meron ding mga module icons na magiging guide nila as they go along with the modules and then how to learn from this module what I need to know and then what I know and then kada lesson mapapansin natin yung mga what question for example in lesson 1 you have the fine terms of a sequence what I need to know, what's in, what's new, what is it, ayan. What's more, what I have learned, and what I can do. So, etong uh, module na to ay binubuo ng lessons 1 and 2. As what I've told you, uh, masyado mahaba yung uh, generating patterns. So, kaya separate uh, module siya. And so, same lang din, merong additional activities. So, let's see kung ano additional activities yung in-incorporate or in-include. You have here the summary, the post-test, and most importantly, answer keys be because uh, students will be checking their work. Ayan. So, what is the module is about? Nakalagay dito yung interlang. Sequences are important in our daily lives as well as in higher mathematics. For example, the arrangement of the planets in the solar system, 
the shapes of the leaves and flowers, minitinan are squares of numbers, growth of bacteria, months in a year, days in a week, and others. So that is something related with the illustration in the front page. So dito ay talagang mag-generate agad sa isip ng mga, uh, sa, ng mga learners how it is important in, in their daily lives at makikita nila itong uh, patterns and sequences sa environment. Yun naman yung, uh, ito naman talaga yung uh, purpose or yung isa sa mga applications ng uh, generating patterns. And then, ito yung to the teacher facilitator. So, hindi ko na yung babasahin. So, yung to the parent or guardians na kalagay dito. This module was designed and developed to cater the academic needs of your child in this trying time. Teaching and learning process do not only happen inside the four corners of a classroom but also in your respective homes. So, we hope that you will cooperate, provide encouragement, and show full support to your children in answering all the activities found in this module. So, I think napakaganda ng pagsasabi dito or ng note para sa mga parents or guardians because, on my own opinion, because some parents or guardians are trying to say na parang sila na lahat yung gagam uh, gagampanan yung tungkulin ng mga teachers in terms sa pagtuturo. But it's not po. Because we as teachers, we also have the consultation time and students can reach out their uh, respected, uh, respective teachers in any means available. Pwedeng i-text po, pwedeng tawagan, uh, chat, uh, video calls. Yun nga lang po, hinihingi din yung supportan nyo dahil kayo po yung makakasama ng mga, uh, ng mga students sa kanilang, ng inyo po mga anak para sa kanilang pag-aaral. Again, kailangan ng encouragement and full support para maging successful po yung teaching and learning activities this school year 2020 and 2021. And to the learner naman, nakalagay dito na yung hand yung ginamit na symbolism because nakadepende talaga sa kanila. Lahat. Nakalagay dito, as a learner is capable and empowered to achieve successfully the relevant competencies and skills at your own pace and time. So, your academic success lies in your own hands. Since nga, meron pa rin ibibigay ni schedule yung teacher, pero nasa kamay pa rin ng mga students ang kanilang uh, decision, ang kanilang oras at plano. So, therefore, yun. So, kailangan lang nila ding makipag-cooperate. How to learn from this module? Nakalagay dito yung mga dapat sundin ng mga students na kailangan ingatan. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module since it is only borrowed material. And then, nakalagay dito, read the instructions carefully before doing each task and only look at the answer key after answering. That's important that students have integrity at alam yung values ng honesty. Ano? So, kailangan din yung conscience. No? Kailangan, uh, they need to answer the activity honestly. Ayan. Para maging uh, reliable or para na mag maging valid yung magiging assessment with regards to their performance. But then again, magpe-prepare pa rin naman yung mga teachers ng other assessment tool that will assess their learnings regarding the lesson. And then, hindi ko na iisa-isahin yung mga nakalagay ditong icons. I know you are familiar with uh, those parts. Hindi naman yung sa lesson exemplar, yung mga what is it, what's new, what I can do, assessment, additional activities. Ayan. So, yun din naman yung mga nasa exemplar. Okay, let's start with I, what I need to know. San po na ko yung what I need to know? So, this is based from the most essential learning competencies nakuha yung uh, learning code on sa curriculum guide ng from the Department of Education. So, ayan. So, they are expected to. So, ito yung mga objectives na kailangan ma-achieve ng mga students. Then, after that, may question lang, how much you can learn from this module greatly depends in your diligence and cooperation. Always bear in mind that you are not alone. We hope that through this material, you will experience meaningful learning and gain deep understanding of the relevant competencies. So, you can do it. Ayan. So, what I know, so, yung what I know, ito yung pre-assessment. At most, na assessment na ginagamit ay multiple choice types. So, there are 10 items. Uh, Definitely, ito yung coverage ay 
lesson 1 and lesson 2. So, dun ako ha yung mga questions. And then, ito na. Let's start with the lesson 1. So, what I need to know. Ayan yung ulit yung objectives. So, yung 1 to 4. Then, meron ulit nakalagay sa box. To perform the activities in this module, you will be needing your activity notebook, ball pen, calculator, and some scratch papers. Write all the... All your answers for each task that follows in your activity notebook. So, they will be submitting their uh, notebook sa kanilang uh, respective uh, teachers. No, depende na rin sa arrangement ng school kung paano submit. Okay. And then, so first activity lang. Ayan, this activity will measure your previous knowledge on the lesson of evaluating expression. So, how do we evaluate expression? So, by substituting the values or performing the indicated operations. So, nakalagay dito items, uh, five items, sorry. And then, merong siyang option doon sa inside the box. Doon, mamimili ng sagot yung students. But for me, I would suggest na instead of writing the options, Pwede namang walang option so that students will check or evaluate their work. Kasi minsan, hindi natin masabi na may pagpipilian dito, baka hulaan lang ng mga students for number 1, halimbawa negative 5, for number 2, 8. So, kung baga, makakapag-decide agad dito yung students ng answer. So, let them to give their answer. So, yun lang naman yung aking suggestion. And then, meron ditong uh, pag-aaralan yung figure. So, syempre, mapapansin dito yung sides na nag increase yung sides. So, three-sided, four-sided, and so on. Then, meron guide questions. Then, number two is somewhat problem-solving. And then, meron din siyang guide questions. And then, from those two given examples, kailangan mag-generate yung meaning ng sequence. And then, each number na sequence, yung mga binigay, or kung kinontinue mo yung pattern, ang tawag doon ay terms, which is maganda. So, gumamit ng geometric figures, then yung pangalawa ay problem solving. And then, gumamit din dito ng table on how to present the lesson, kung paano babasahin, which is maganda. So, maganda rin kung alam ng bata written and uh, verbally yung mga mathematic, uh, mathematical expressions. Then, after that, ito na yung abstraction or presentation the lesson. So, what I like the most upon browsing this one is how the lessons presented talagang systematic and synchronized, providing all the necessary steps, and then meron siyang conclusion. Kato ito. Therefore, the first five terms of the sequence are 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. So, bago nag-come up doon sa sequence na yan, naipinakita yung step-by-step -step solution kung paano nakuha yung each term ng given na sequence, which is maganda. So, napakaganda po ng pagkaka-construct uh, or pagkakalapat dito ng lesson talagang systematic or step-by-step -step process. Kung baga dito, ay mao-organize talaga ng maayos yung learnings ng students. Then, from that lesson, meron lang activity entitled Classify Me. So, which is maganda, identify lang kung siya ay finite or infinite. That is a knowledge-based assessment. And then, matching type. So, dito naman, column A and column B of here, uh, imamatch lang yung sequence doon sa first three terms. So, ginawa siyang uh, matching type. But probably, pwede rin naman siyang hindi matching type or pwede rin naman siyang walang mga options para talagang ma-challenge yung mga students. But then again, yun nga, mahirap kasi kapag may option, eh, mamimili lang sila doon sa five options. And then, dito naman sa what I have learned after all the activities you have done so far, eto naman yung comprehension check. So, based on the definition of terms. And then, eto, sa isa sa pinaka mga nagusto ko kung activity is spotting the error na hindi ko pa nagagawa siguro before or nagawa ko na pala siya. Uh, pero mga ilang beses lang. So, dito sa spotting the errors is just like dun sa English na i-spot mo kung ano dun yung mga hindi tamang grammar or kung hindi yung angkop dun sa isang sentence. Eto, ganito din. Hahanapin mo naman dito kung ano yung what makes the solution incorrect. So, maganda po yung activity. Again, maganda yung activity na spotting the error because 
it is under uh, mathematical reasoning. Ayan, talaga masusukat doon yung analysis and understanding ng students. Upon reading itong uh, part ng activity na to, yung tungkol sa uh, problem, problem solving, I think, and then they need to write their complete solution. Then, merong dalawang guide questions that is all about COVID-19. Uh, COVID Ayan. So, as the chairman of the Barangay Youth Council, you want to effect change through education, uh, educating the residents in your barangay on your on the preventive ways that can be done to keep COVID-19 away. Ayan. Hence, you inform all your members by a text message that your council will be distributing it to the respective Purok chairman of your barangay. On the first day, you were able to produce 50 pliers, then another 50 pliers on the second day, and so on. Ayan, nakalagay lang dito, make a table representing the, the number of flyers made from day 1 to day 5. So, yun yung sa problem solving part. And then, hindi ko na ipapakita sa inyo yung uh, lesson 2, somewhat similar din naman siya sa lesson 1. But probably, ang napansin ko lang dito ay uh, kailangan lang siguro lagyan ng counting values integration because that's very important. So, kailangan ma-achieve yung KSAVs, yung knowledge, skills, attitudes, and values because uh, I believe that learning is a change in behavior. But other than that, talaga, I really appreciate kung paano, uh, especially how the lessons uh, were presented in this module talagang step by step at tal step by step at talaga mauunawaan ng mga learners or students. Ayan. And then, most probably, yung mga problems kasi kasing binigay dito, yung talagang napapanahon, which is maganda din naman. So, para makita yung uh, uh, rele uh, relevant or uh, uh, magiging updated yung mga learners natin na uh, pwede palang i-connect yung mga learnings nila sa mga nangyayari or kung ano yung mga problem sa uh, paligid. Okay? And then, nakalagay lang dito yung mga problems din. Then, may mga guide questions na uh, sasagutan. Ayan, probably naman, ito yung mga uh, data na magja-generate ng patterns. Titignan yung uh, difference, common difference, something like that. Or yung mga ratio which is related doon sa lesson na uh, sequences. Ayan. And then, nakalagay lang dito, how did, you uh, how did you find the lesson? Is generating patterns or finding a general rule of a given sequence uh, hard for you? And then, eto lang yung part na sa pati hindi ko naman sa hindi nagustuhan, I mean, when we give additional activities na magsisilbi na rin supplementary activities, so, make it ano naman, uh, interactive or engaging. So, pwede naman tayo magbigay ng mga performance-based assessment wherein meron siguro doong creating part na no? mag-create yung mga uh, students natin or learners so that they will be challenged of the activities. Kasi ang binigay lang doon, crossword puzzle. And then, you have the summary of the lesson. And then, yung pinaka-post test ay same lang din na multiple choice type na same na din sa pretest. So, kailangan dito ay mataas yung scores ng mga students so that malaman na sila ay nag-improve. And then, you have here the answer key. That's very important because learners will be the one to check their work. And then, ito yung mga references na ginamit. Okay, so that's it, fellow teachers. I hope na nakapagbigay ako ng magandang review at nakapagbigay ako ng magandang walkthrough ng self-learning module na gagamitin natin sa darating na pasukan. As what I've told you, kailangan pa rin natin magantay ng prescribed module na ibaba ng inyong division, but we can make use of uh, lots of references na makikita natin sa internet, but always remember yung mga uh, copyright claims, no? Again, this for educational purposes only and non-profiting. Again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and share and subscribe with my YouTube channel so that you will be updated sa mga ipopost ko pa ang mga educational uh, videos. So, God bless you all and keep safe.